week we have something very different that I'm pretty excited about. I've been working with an artist named Paula Pertilli, and together we've created this blank coloring page. And it's a Fair Isle design. I'll give you a close-up of it in a minute. It's a Fair Isle design that matches the Fair Isle in the cowl that I'm wearing right now. So it's a free coloring page, and next week we have a free tutorial on knitting the very cowl that I'm wearing. So this week you can color to your heart's desire, and next week we'll talk about actually putting yarn to needles and knitting what you make. Um, I want to give you a close-up of what some of my friends and I put together for our coloring pages because the cowl that I'm wearing now, as much as I love it, it's just one interpretation of this Fair Isle design. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Here is the blank coloring page that you can um, download and print as many times as you want and color in as much as you want. You can see the Fair Isle stitches are bold and the background color is um, is a little, uh, a little faded. So this is the coloring page for the cowl that I'm wearing right now. The background, the background color in the actual cowl is ivory. This is a little more pink, but um, this is the one I'm wearing now. So this was my idea. This one is one that was colored in by my friend Stephen. And he used gray, gray, and gray, just like we <laughs> expected him to. Stephen is uh, seven lefts on Instagram. And when I asked him, what do you want the background color to be? He said, ladies choice. And he said it just like that. And this is another friend's coloring. And she asked me not to use her name, but she used some bright jewel tones. And I'm not sure what she intended for the background color, but you can see how different this pattern looks in different colors. And this one is by my friend Cynthia. She's the Sin Sin on Instagram. And she's given this a hashtag. She's given this a hashtag Sunny Garden because she made this part of the Fair Isle design look like tulips, like tulip plants. And this is another one that I designed, and I wanted to do this one to try something really different. Instead of just leaving one background color, I actually put stripes in it to see how that would look, and it does look really cool. I'm really happy with it. I haven't knit it yet, but I think it looks really cool. Now you can copy, um, you can print this out as many times as you want and color as much as you want, but I want to give you some guidelines if you're looking at coloring this with the intent of knitting it eventually. Now if you're going to use leftover yarns that you have, worsted weight leftover yarns, you can use 8 million colors, do whatever you want. But if you're actually looking to buy yarn for this and do something like I've done here, I'm going to say you want to use uh, between two and six colors. You have to use at least two colors, you know, a background color and then the contrasting color, and um, up to six. Any more than that, you, um, it's a lot to keep track of when you're trying to knit the pattern. This is a five color design, and I will have photos on my website of the coloring pages, and you can, well, actually, I, that's, I'll tell you more about that in a minute. So between two and six colors, and you want to use a wool or a wool blend. The uh, Fair Isle can cause some tension issues if you're not familiar with working it. And wool and wool blends are going to be more forgiving with letting those block out so you have something that's smooth and nice and not bunched up when you're finished. I do not recommend using cotton. I do not recommend using a synthetic yarn. Um, I should also mention this, this tutorial will be a good introduction to Fair Isle if you've never done it before. So for the best possible results, use a wool or wool blend yarn. And uh, it occurred to me that people are going to knit this page and they're going to come up with something really fantastic and then not be able to find the yarn in the colors that they've created, the colors in their colored pencil box or their colored pens. So I, I can think of three yarn brands that fit the bill. Um, and I'm going to list them out in the video description field and on my website. Three yarn brands that are wool or wool blend that um, come in a lot of different colors. Uh, so you'll have a big palette of colors to choose from. And they're also reasonably priced um, worsted weight yarns. So I'll list those out. If you have another idea, please go ahead and comment with the other idea that you have. Worsted, wool, lots of colors available. That's what we're looking for. 
Anyway, um, next week we have the tutorial on the cowl, and uh, so we'll have one big project going here. Oh, there's something else really important. If you uh, color your, your picture in, take a picture of it, post it to Instagram with uh, hashtag color my cowl, I will put um, a slideshow up on Very Pink, and we can all look through all of the hashtag color my cowl pictures for ideas for how we might want to color ours. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how that goes and seeing how everyone colors theirs. Anyway, I will see you next week with the Fair Isle tutorial.